All right, haunting world. I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe spruce up a few Halloween decorations before uh, it gets to be October. So you know how it always creeps up on you. As soon as you get to Halloween, it's always those last minute things. So I thought, let me dig out my old stuff and see what I want to do. And I found this guy here, and he looks pretty neat. You know, hear no evil, say no evil, see no evil. So I thought, well, that looks kind of neat, but it's uh, as you can see, he's hollow. He doesn't have anything in there, nothing fancy about him. And I had him sitting up on a column, and I thought it'd be kind of neat to put uh, some LED eyes in there. So I made up some of these LEDs. So you got two sets of eyes, because the third one doesn't have any eyes. His hands are covered in his eyes. So I made up four of these. Really easy to do. Shrink tube to everything, making sure it's nice and waterproof. Got to make sure when you do anything like that that's outside, you can make it waterproof. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to wire up LEDs, there's about a thousand of them. I'm not going to bore you with how to wire up simple LEDs. I have it up to a 12 volt power supply. Alright, now with this, I had an idea of what am I going to do to be able to put them into the eye socket. So, I thought i use some of this. Super cheap, and every haunter uses this for about every project you can think of. Great stuff. Alright. So all you have to do okay so put it in a box what I'm gonna do spray the foam you foam just like that I'll fill it in so easy cheesy oops off camera all right, so filled them with the eyes, the foam. See, now it's all icky. But as the foam expands, stuff is easy to trim. All you have to do is all you have to do is be able to, to trim it out, and you'll be able to put the little drill, small holes in there. Here in a second, though, I'm gonna let it dry, and then we'll come back here, and then through YouTube magic, it'll be dried, and we'll drill the holes. Ta -da, he's dry but also uh, I went ahead as soon as it was dried I went ahead and carved those out a little bit of the eyes because they went out a little bulgy and then I painted them black I was a little bright on there but then I put the the red LEDs in there and it looks kind of spooky now so I also used a little bit of the black paint and painted up the body just a little bit more to put a little more definition in there because a little light and putting the dark black eyes on there just kind of made it look a little too black right in just that one area so I darkened up the other pieces on this but I think it turned out well be kind of spooky pretty cheap LEDs only cost you a few cents some cheap wire and random AC adapter if you can find one I got about 15 of them lying around from broken electronics all over the house and keep the AC adapters for things like this well, anyways, um, he is all finished and ready to go for Halloween.